Tesla has recently filed with the Chinese government for a new Model 3 with Tesla's new lithium iron phosphate batteries. This new battery will allow Tesla to lower the cost for battery manufacturing by a significant amount, consequently resulting in higher profit margins. In this video, I'm going to explain why Tesla is switching up its battery chemistry for the Model 3 in China and how this will affect Tesla in the future. As of now, Tesla uses NCA batteries for their vehicles, with NCA standing for nickel, cobalt, and aluminum. This goes against the traditional method of producing batteries, as most of the legacy automakers are using NCM batteries, which stands for nickel, cobalt, and manganese. However, in late 2019, one report stated that Tesla would be switching to NCM batteries for its Chinese main Model 3. This report was deemed inaccurate as the author clearly displayed their inaccuracies with battery knowledge. It's been over half a year since then, and it's official that the report was wrong. Instead, Tesla will use an LFP battery consisting of lithium, iron, and phosphate. This new battery will be manufactured by LG Chem and CATL, and will take place at Tesla's Shanghai Gigafactory, similar to Tesla's partnership with Panasonic. This was revealed when Tesla filed for approval of the LFP batteries with the Ministry of Industry and Information Technology. Now you might be wondering, what are the benefits of Tesla's new LFP battery? You might have noticed that for once, cobalt is not inside the battery chemistry for Tesla's new LFP battery. The reason why this matters is both because of ethical and economical reasons. In the Democratic Republic of Congo, which is a country located in Central Africa, kids are forced to do the dangerous manual labor. A recent lawsuit was filed against Apple, Google, Microsoft, and Dell for taking advantage of this child labor. By using the LFP battery, Tesla will be able to transition away from the cobalt mined by the children in Africa. Not only that, but cobalt is extremely expensive, so by staying away from cobalt, this lowers the cost for battery manufacturing. To top it off, the chemistry for LFP batteries allows the batteries to not burn as fast as the traditional chemistry, resulting in less fires. However, while this all sounds great, LFP batteries have been avoided for a reason. LFP batteries have always had a lower energy density than NCA and NCM batteries in the past, causing many automakers to stick with the batteries that contain cobalt. Nonetheless, CATL has improved the LFP battery's energy density and lifetime over the past few years, allowing Tesla to start using the battery. Ultimately, the primary goal for Tesla here is to lower the manufacturing cost of the Model 3 in China. This is the reason why Tesla was able to lower the price of the Model 3 in China from $45,800 to $41,300. Tesla's new battery replaces expensive metals like nickel and cobalt, resulting in Tesla's battery pack production cost dropping to $80 per kilowatt hour according to Reuters. Tesla's CFO, Zachary Kirkhorn, has also noted that there are still more opportunities to bring the price down for the China-made Model 3. Kirkhorn has discussed how the economies of scale will allow them to bring down the production cost for the Model 3 as he stated that there's still significant opportunity left to take costs out. So fixed cost absorption from higher production volumes, which are occurring in Q2 and will occur through the rest of the year, were not fully localized on the supply chain yet. And so while a lot of the supply chain is localized, it's not complete, and there's still additional opportunities there. Recent drone shots above Tesla's Shanghai Gigafactory have revealed the massive expansion that is taking place. Once the economies of scale plays out with this new expansion, Tesla will be able to use those profits to expand even more, until the company reaches a point where the production capacity meets the demand. This video is sponsored by Moomoo. Moomoo is a commissions-free trading platform that provides trading from 4am to 8pm, a customizable UI, and level 2 data, which means that it displays real-time bids and ask prices. It also provides access to investing in foreign companies without having to worry about currency exchange. 
Right now, they are offering two free stocks if you use the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe. I appreciate your support.